Hello, and welcome back to Digimon World. Uh, let's play Digimon World. Anyways, it's a brand new day today, so we are going to do the first thing we always do every day. We are going to get our pay. Well, not our pay, but, you know. Uh, sometimes you get five pieces of meat from that place, instead of the usual three. So anyways, let's see what's in this in the other part of the city. There's a broken bridge? Oh, come on! The br a bridge is useful! You know, they should really fix that bridge, because I need it to get to get to the, uh, to the, to the place on the other side. Very useful Digimon over there. So, let's kick today off with a battle, shall we? Yes, let's see here. Uh, this is just a standard enemy. 300 hit points, not that much. The enemies don't fight you unless you touch them. And if you touch an enemy, and there's more than one enemy on the screen, guess what happens? You fight them all! So you could wind up in a 2-on-1 or a 3-on-1 if you're not careful. And I just got poisoned. But I don't have any items to cure poison with. It's kind of... I don't know. Oh, and the poison slows you down too, so that's so that's not good. But I won anyways, because I'm hardcore like that. get some money and he drops the various floppy the various floppy cure status ailments that would have helped during the battle and now he's hungry uh. so there's really no point to the random enemy encounters unless you want to get them to drop something you need weird I mean, if you win a battle, you just get a small increase in statistics. Semi-pointless, because, you know, the training, you could just train your stats, and you're better off doing that. Now I want to heal him. Oh, come on! He rejected the healing on him. He does that sometimes. So what you have to do is scold him. And for some reason, that increases discipline and happiness. And he'll take the item now. I'm not going to question whether that's... I don't know. Just... Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Let's see what this is. A flower. Uh, nah, you're not a flower. Yes, I was listening. Oh god, it's another boss battle! Talk about a guy dang it moment. Yo, you wouldn't know that this is actually a boss without something to warn you. And this is one of the most annoying bosses in the game because she can poison you! It, he, she, the Digimon don't have genders, but I think this one's slightly feminine. I do know there are a couple Digimon out there who suffer from she's a man in Japan syndrome. Anyways, she can poison ya! And that's why I got that various flop. But what if she poisons me again? Yeah, you know? Great, I'm poisoned again and there's nothing I can do about it. Two poison attacks! What is with that? What, what, what was that? That, that? that did 400 damage to me in one shot! And you can't see the enemy's MP, so there is no proof that... Ooh! What's this? FINISH HIM! Or her! Uh, yeah. What you just saw was a finisher. That is a Limit Break-esque attack. Which you can only use when the, when the lights beneath your MP spell FINISH. I WIN! And she dropped a Brain Chip. That increases my intelligence by 50 points. If I use it. I don't want to use it. 
I always save everything until I need it. So, uh... What was I saying just now? Oh yeah, you can't see the enemy's magic points. So there is no proof that they don't have infinite magic points. But I assume that that little raindrop thing he did costed a lot of magic points. So anyways, I'm headed to Dragon Eye Lake. There's nothing here right now, but there is an item. I really don't know why there are there is a mini computer there, but it had medium MP in it. That is a um, um an MP restoring item that restores 1500 MP as to oppose the 500 from an MP floppy. You know, I just noticed. About a minute ago, I shoved a floppy disk down his throat. Okay. Apparently now he has to poop. It, it, you ate a floppy disk. Um, you know, never mind. Ah. Oh. Anyway, I need to use the item tank. We I'm going to deposit that that brain chip I just got and get back my restore. In case I didn't tell you last episode, the restore is a sort of uh, revival item. When you when you get KO'd, you have five seconds before you die to use um, a reviving item, of which there are like. Two, two total in the entire game. Oh, the angry shit hurts. So now you get three pieces of giant meat a day, starting tomorrow. Not that I need giant meat right now. Or I could buy more for 500 a piece. 500? Ugh, that's too expensive. So, anyways... Uh, let's get some training in today. My defense needs, my defense stat needs a real boost. Oh yeah, like this isn't the most annoying training thing ever. How does getting hit with a punching glove increase defense? I guess the same way that pushing a boulder increases hit points. It doesn't, it's just a lame gimmick. I think one more one more time is good. Yep. Now let's see here. Yeah, my stats are kind of low right now, so I am going to take a rest. Now, if you rest at the little bed thing right there, it doesn't restore your your health and magic completely, just by about 25%, I think. So I have to do it twice. And they have to reload the screen every time you do. Like, that's really necessary. And they should just fade it to black. And then come back. And he's hungry after his long rest. 